In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a trend in your application template in ABD site room programming editor. We simply use for that the column here trend where we have the checkboxes to create trends. As you can see on the TXIO inputs and outputs, we are unfortunately not able to create trends. The boxes are grayed out. The same applies, by the way, for the alarms. We only can create trends and alarms in ABT Site Room Programming Editor within application functions. This is not a big deal because we just can open here now the application function. The application functions opens and we see here the different elements of our fan coil unit, the fan, the cooling coil and the heating coil, which has been configured before in ABT Site Configurator. When we open now the fan, for example, we see here the variable speed fan output and that's the one we want to attach a trend to it. It's exactly the same as mentioned up here but here we see it within the application function and here we are also uh, allowed to create a trend to it and by checking the box it creates further down in the list the trend log object to the variable speed fan. When we now have a look into the properties of this um, new object then we see here the most important uh, properties for a trend we see here that the trend is enabled we can here for example define the logging type coe or polled we will leave it here on polled here we have the logging interval for a polled one it's uh, 900 seconds um, we could also here uh, define a start and a stop time. We could also define what happens when the uh, when the buffer is full and what's the buffer size. I think that's the most important elements for the trend and the most important properties for creating a trend. With setting these properties, uh, everything is done and your trend is ready to run. 